All right, guys, here we are at the Mez West Day Tour. There's Lori cleaning the table. She works here at Plush Pocket, and uh, be sure to come on in tonight. They're going to open up tables here for play and for action, and uh, we're about to start another streamed match now between Fach Garcia and Attila Bezdan from Budapest, Hungary, who is... Uh, travel partner and good friends with uh, Vilmos Foldis who won the first or sorry won the last tour stop here for the Mez West Day Tour he won the uh, Fresno tour stop which was tour stop number three I'm gonna leave you with Mike Meeker and uh, whoever else wants to come in and sweat the match with Mike uh, and I'm gonna take a uh, much needed dinner slash lunch break. Like I said, Plush Pocket on Balboa and Parthenia. Come on in and sweat some of the action. Open for free, no cover charge, and at 11 o'clock tonight they're going to open up tables for action. So uh, definitely come on down to uh, Plush Pocket in Northridge. Plenty of beer on tap and uh, the guy in the green is Attila Bezdan. No, he's uh, Vilmos's uh, travel partner from Hungary. Thanks. Okay, so this is an even race to eight. Um, Attila versus Foch Garcia. Foch is the uh, one of the local favorites at uh, Hard Times in Bellflower and Attila is from Budapest, Hungary and I guess he's uh, one of the top players out there so so that'd be a good match Nice shot by Foch. Got pretty good on that two ball. So it's a pretty spread table. Um, don't see any real problems on the table. No, not. No, I know. Go to the 
Look at him. That's, look at him. He's got his glasses on and everything. <laughs> How do you go shopping and not get anything for us? Um, table number three, I mean Steve Chaplin and Efren Reyes. Table number three, Steve and yeah. Yeah, he's actually a pro player out of Hungary. He's uh, one of Foldis's uh, friends that they uh, travel together. Why are Why are they out here? Why is Foldis out here? Uh, is, there's nothing going on out here. That's kind of odd that they would be here. Wouldn't he just it? wanted to come to the states and play pool, as far as I know. Huh. I thought Foldis. He's a good. He's a, he's a he's a pro player. And yeah, he's a pro player. I'm surprised he's not at the World Cup because that's going on right now. Exactly. You know, and and and, and I don't know why Efren and uh, Bustamante aren't, aren't at the World Cup. Yeah, they should be playing in that too. I think Dennis is over there, and and it's going on this weekend. The, the finals are this weekend. Yeah. So I was surprised when Melissa actually told me that Efren and Boosty were going to be here. I'm like. Really? That, yeah, that was a shock to me too. Yeah. They would be there at the world. Because there's nothing going on out here right now, other than the U.S. Open in a month or whatever it is. Yeah. So. All right. Well, we all know Foch. You know Foch pretty oh, well, yeah, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Real well. Foch oh. is a really good player. I've been playing pool with Foch forever since I was a little kid. Yeah. And we've had our battles at hard times. Played a bunch of times. It's funny because we used to battle in pool league. Oh really? <laughs> like way back in, in, the, in the bars or in, in the, the bars? Yeah, like 15, 20, like 15 you know years I, ago. I never, never got involved in the in the bar pool. I mean, I managed Hollywood Billiards for like seven years, so. Oh okay. You know, I I had my outlet there to, to play, so. But, Foch is a good player. He he makes uh, he plays at a uh, real nice pace. Plays it makes it look easy, you know, when he plays. Yeah. He's, he's he plays it like really relaxed. He might be a little nervous right now in this starting of this match, but. He plays uh, plays pretty good, and he makes he makes a beautiful cue stick too. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, yeah. great cue maker. He's got it all. He's a ball maker and a cue maker. If uh, I think after a couple games, he'll get you know he missed that ball in this last game that normally he probably wouldn't have missed. But you know, it's a no matter how it looks, it's a little nerve wracking being on a TV table. Oh, absolutely! No matter who you are, and. Uh, Obviously, you know, these aren't two top pros, so they're not really used to it that much. Right. So, I mean, it looks easy from here. Like, oh, I could be out there playing, but no. You get out there, and all of a sudden, you know, it, everything looks different. The only time I ever played on the live stream table was against Santos, and uh, it was basically just watching him run drills. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Santos is a strong player. I like Santos. He's a good yeah, guy. he's a real nice guy. He's a good friend of my father's. Oh, yeah? Oh, cool. Got him. All right, well, this table's wide open. If this guy gets proper position, there's no reason why he shouldn't be out. Oh, we overhit that, though, Mike. Yeah. I, I've never seen him play, so I don't know his game. But he's actually still not too bad. He can come down one rail and back up for the four. He's got to make sure he stays on the right side of the balls here because that five is only goes in one pocket. And he did that. He made sure he stayed over on this side. Yeah, he hit that real good. Yeah. Now he's got a natural position to get to the five. Yeah, it's a pretty wide open table. I don't really see any problems from here. Yeah, once if he gets on the five here, I mean, it should be over. I mean, this is a shot right here. It's, it's good position. He knows this is the key shot. That's right. why he's taking his time on this one. <laughs> They're already on Steve and Efren are already on the table. <laughs> They're already going there. They're already ready to go. <laughs> Efren don't oh. care. He he don't need to use a rack. He'll just put the ball out there. He's like, whatever. <laughs> Attila over hit that. Yeah, he's okay though. He can go. He can just run, go down. Oh no, oh, I tell didn't him. See. He missed it. Yeah, he overcut it. Oh, I, I couldn't see the four from here. I'm blocked by this. Oh wow, I didn't. See. Oh okay. Uh. Uh. Yes, yeah, so that's a problem with that type of shot when you got to get in the when the four balls close to the pocket like that, and you got to get it down table. Right. You 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 stall the cue ball like that because of the speed you're putting on the ball. It's a very tricky shot. 
looks like he's almost going for the nine. He might have to. He has no choice. He's, you know, he could play safe behind the nine. That's what I was thinking. Oh, he oh, went he for it. Oh, he caromed it. Tried to do a one pocket shot. Yeah. I don't know. I probably would. I might have gone. I might have gone five nine on that. Yeah. Played the cue ball down here somewhere, but same here. You know, it's a little different from up here. But, you know, we don't see the certain <laughs> angles. I'm but, the best pool player in the world up yeah. here. <laughs> well, you know, it's you know the angles are different from right here. Yeah. You know, and it's when you're out there, it's a little different. You don't. You know, all it takes is a half inch angle difference, and it's a whole different, different thing. Right. Oh, he's got a natural position here. I should be out. Yeah, this is a, it's a roll up and a stop, and he's good to go, hopefully. Yeah, I like I like the way Funch. I like his pace in the game. He, he's real smooth and plays a nice pace. And, he's uh, real humble too. Yeah, and he's a he's a solid shot maker too. But look how relaxed he is. You know, you don't see you no. Know, he just gets down, nice and relaxed. I believe that's two, two to nothing now, isn't it? I don't even know the score. No, it's one, one nothing. That was the first game. No, it was the second game. Then it's, then it's two nothing, I believe. Did Foch win the first game? Yeah, Foch, Foch won the first one. Can you guys help us out in the room? Who won the first game? That's that was Ernesto's game. Oh, <laughs> and maybe they all deserted the chat room. I thought it was the second. I thought that was the first. Okay, so I believe it's 1 1 right now. One one. Can you get is there, there's no camera over there that can see the point, is there? No. You know what? Yeah, there's a point one and there's a point there, so it's one one. It is one one. Okay, so it is one one. Raise to eight. Oh Foch got perfect on that three ball. Yeah, boy, if that was two inches shorter he'd be jacked up. Oh yeah. Luckily, the five's a hanger just sitting there. But you know what? He's a little off angle now. He got the wrong angle on this, Mike. He's going to have to draw it back towards the side pocket like that. Wow, that's yeah. scary. He scary. got the wrong angle. Yeah. He got punished for it. You know what? It's a lot of people make that mistake on that type of shot because they don't get over and see exactly where they need the cue ball to be so they have that angle for that next shot. Right. And you know, he just assumed, I think, that if he stopped the five ball, right, or stopped the cue ball after making the five, that he had a good angle, but he didn't. No, he didn't at all. No, and he was off angle there. That was a big mistake by Foch right now. It cost him a game.
So it is now uh, two to one, Attila. Looks like Foch is breaking. Looks like he broke dry. safety. Answered him back. Answered him back. If he's gonna mass say that or if he's gonna jump it. I mean I would just come one rail and try to kick into it, but I think he's worried about what the position is gonna be after that. Yeah, he's looks like he's reaching for his jump. Couldn't get the pop. Just given a uh, given Foch ball in hand. <laughs> Melissa Herndon, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to bring her in for some pool chat. Oh, the older guy with the hat. He wears the shirt too, right? The guy with the hat with the shirt? It's like a... 
<laughs> oh, he's being funny with me. That's what it was. I'm trying to like shirt. The guy with the hat and the shirt. That's what Joel said. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, and his wife was hanging. Like, like a fedora. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, like a fedora, yeah. Good luck, Mike. Okay. Nice guy. I mean, he doesn't play that. That's what my opponents told me. <laughs> you didn't have an easy match? I thought you had an easy match your first one. No, I played the first one. It was pretty good. You really improved. I beat him before. No, he's not. Oh, Chris Robinson? Yeah. He said, well, it was last year. And I played that year. But we all do. He's awesome. Whatever. He played good my second match. I don't think I could win this match. Oh, Foch. Focused a little bit too much on trying to move that cue ball and not enough on making the ball. Yeah, he's he gave up a um, game already. I believe it's going to be three to one on a race to eight. You're kind of in the fishbowl on this table. There's everybody's sitting around, everybody's watching you. That's a good analogy. That's pretty much what it is. <laughs> Can be a little nerve wracking at times. I think he's got to hit this ball a little tough, a little hard. Kind of swing it over, play the nine in the same pocket. Or he can load it up with inside and uh, try and get the cue ball to swing down table and play the nine opposite pocket. He hit that nice. Which is what he did. He loaded it up with the inside. Yep. Hit it real nice. That makes it three to one on a race to eight. Really? Oh, I would have put Foch up in this. I came in a little too late. So Foch has given up a couple easy games, huh? Yeah. Um, Foch is stroking him good. It's just, you know, one little mistake. I like it. Uh, I like it here. Foch is such a great safety play. His his oh, his safeties and his kicks. He's he's top notch, top world class. So I think maybe he should uh, lock this guy down a little bit. You yeah, know, try to move him a little bit. Yeah. Kind of uh, take him out of his element. And let him kick at a lot of balls. Yeah, sometimes it's not out playing your opponent. It's out smarting them on a table. Do you have that problem, Melissa? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> you win a match and people treat you like a rock star. It's an interesting break. I mean, he pocketed the two ball. He has a shot on the one, but he's got to shoot it in the side, and the cue ball is going to get away from him. He's not going to be able to hold it for the three. Cut a little bit short. No, he's playing safe. Okay. He's trying to get that behind that seven ball. Oh, then he shot And he great. did a good job. Yeah, he shot it great then. Yeah, there's no way he was playing that in the side because of look at where the cue ball landed yeah. for the three ball. Oh, the Foch kick so good. Did he, did he get behind look it? He actually, uh, he actually hooked him. That's he a actually great hit him. shot. Yeah. Wow. And I'll tell you something about Foch. He probably tried to play a shot just like that. He knows exactly how to kick and where that ball's going. And I would bet that he aimed to hit that one ball on the, on the side of it and let it drift behind the 7, 8, 9 there, the cue ball. That's the difference between, you know, players is they know those kind of shots. Yeah. And then they make them happen. Looks like he left him a. Uh, I think shot. he can go rail first. I don't know That's that what he I was can make it. Rail first. Not a lot of reward to it with the three ball is. It's tough. But. 
I want to start karaoke. Just holding the mic. Just, <laughs> just go to town. You should just sing. A little Sister Sledge. There you go. We Are Family. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, popped it. These tall players, I'm so jealous. He's going to probably be able to reach out and hit that ball. Yeah. I got to get the bridge, get on my tiptoes. Yeah, I like watching like Bo Renegan could just stretch across the table. <laughs> Line it up that nine. He's gonna try and cut it in. Oh, no, he, wow. He's not gonna try. He's actually gonna cut it he, in. He made a nice shot on that. Left himself a little long in the three, but I think he's gonna get natural angle for the four. Oh, what a shot. He's, work, he's a working man now. Good for him. Maybe overstroke that one a little bit. <laughs> yeah. He's still okay, but I don't think he wanted to be quite that far. He's going to have to leave the, the cue ball all the way down table in order to have a shot on the seven ball. I wonder if he could use that nine to his advantage from the seven. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, well, good news is once he makes a seven, he will be able to use the, the, the nine, nine ball to slow down the cue ball. Yeah, it's just where it goes. Exactly. Whether or not he comes out with a shot on the eight. But first, he's got to make this ball. <laughs> Let's do one step at a time. It's not a tough shot, but it's one of those deceptive shots. I was just going to say that a lot of people, when they're trying to move the cue ball, are going to take for granted and maybe overcut it, which is exactly what he did. Exactly. Trying to get the cue ball all the way back down for the seven. He aimed for a very, very small window between the eight and the nine. And I don't necessarily like that shot. He's a little off angle on that six. Foch has been kind of popping balls this match, too, so... He's gonna like how this turns out, I think. Oh, I think he's gonna love how it turns out. He almost made the ball. It was a great shot, but he knew the cue ball was coming down in that direction. Is that what you would call a two-way shot? Uh, I think it probably was be. It would be. Foch knows where his cue ball is going. He knows his pass. He knows he's coming down in that direction. Whether or not he's going to get a shot if he makes the six, whether or not he gets a shot on the seven, he doesn't know, but he can play such great safeties, it doesn't really matter. Well, he we answered him back. Let's see if Foch could stick him behind that nine. He, he has to hit it. He's, the problem with that shot is he's got to hit it hard to draw it over and get it behind the seven. It, and the six ball is going to go all the way on the table and right back down to that end of the table. Right. So we'll see what happens. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, he's still, he's still a tough shot. He's still leaving him tough. Yeah, it's not an easy shot at all, especially a uh, little off angle. You have to leave it on this side of the table to get the seven. Now, if he's going to go for it, if he's going to try and cut it in, back cut it here, he's just going to leave the cue ball down at this end of the table, which is what he could have done two shots ago when he actually had a shot at the six yeah. in the side instead of, instead of leaving it so far away or instead of trying to swing it all the way back down, and then he would have made it now. Well, he just made that seven a little, little, little funky. Left shot of Facha, makeable shot, but it's got a little bit of a it's funny. Come back and forth. He might actually be able to swing it down. Oh. Right here, he would have had an angle on the seven. He would have had a shot, but he. What's? I'm sorry. His name is. Uh, uh, Attila. Attila. He might actually have a piece of the six ball. Yeah, it looks like he does. Watch out about running into the seven ball here. Well, look at that. Now he's going to play safe. He can't make it ball. Yeah, he can make the seven. I don't think so. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, I guess he could. My bad. He got the angle, too, for the eight ball. Perfect on the uh, nine ball. I believe it's four to one now. Race to eight. Attila. I do see a penny at one, and I do see a penny at four. So I would say that you're probably right. Lucky guess. <laughs> Good observation. Way to pay attention. People are going to start people. Yeah, people are going to start thinking of paying attention to this match. <laughs> when do you play again? I just lost my last match. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, bad rolls. It's okay, I'm a better commentator than I am a player, so. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Uh, I've won two, and I'm waiting to play again. Uh, should be coming up soon, probably next 15, 20 minutes. You're yeah. still on the winner's side. That's yeah. cool. Congratulations. Thanks. Look at that guy just walking next to the table. No idea. <laughs> All these people sitting around watching didn't give him any kind of clue that maybe something important. Cameras, nothing. Yeah, I'm nobody. Just gonna walk in. I actually touched the table on my way by. I put my quarter down. Maybe. I'll set my beer in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> put my quarter down. Yell next. Yell next. I got I've next. Seen, I've seen so many people die at fifty cents in a bar. <laughs> I got winners. <laughs> I got winners. We'll play for beers. I oh. actually used to love doing that when I was younger. I, I, I could make a, a 50 cents. I could make a whole night of it. Just run the yeah. tables. <laughs> I've done it. I've done it. A little bar in Palm Springs. Yep. Girlfriend when, and I were there. She also played uh, on the WPBA, and we um, a bunch of Marines came in, and we basically just ran the, ran the gamut, played all of them, played like 16 of them just over and over and over. <laughs> it was quite funny, actually. I bet you they still tell the story, too, of the time they walked into a bar and two women beat them. <laughs> Every single one of them was cool with it up until the last one. He was a little guy. Tried to crush my hand. Oh, that's not nice. When we beat him. Oh, 
Nice shot, Foch. Watch is looking at getting a second game. It's going to be two to four. <laughs> nice. There you go, Foch. There he goes. That's the Foch we know and love. Foch. Foch. Uh, let's, see, let's see if the people in the audience can guess what Foch's first name is. Attila's break, four to two. Look at the chat. <laughs> I just asked a question from the audience. Nobody? I don't think the chat's on. Oh, uh, maybe it is. Nobody? No, no, the, the chat's down right now. Chat's down, service is connected. We could just chat with each other, Ramin. Uh, you could ask me a question. You like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Attila broke try. Foch has an opportunity here. Doesn't have a good shot. He can cut it in. Uh, and he did not. He needed that shot, too. It's a two to four. Attila. see a safety here. Let's see how good it is. It's not bad. It's a fairly, fairly simple one rail kick. He can also jump this ball. You know what I love on these tables is the table grip's so good. I've been able to mass save my ways out of some, you know, yeah? pretty, pretty oh, that's nice safeties. Nice. Nowadays, it's not easy to do on most tables. Did he get there? Yeah, he rolled up on the four. Got a little love. I think the guy has a full ball, but I don't think that he can actually make it. I think he can see the full ball, but he can't make it. Does he cross bank it, or does he leave it in the mix? I don't see the European players bank a lot of balls. They usually play safeties a lot. Four to two. Eight, eight. Eight, eight, and eight. Hi, Dave. <laughs> How did I know? How did I know that's what you were going to say? <laughs> massage? Massage? No, I'm just I said massage. Oh, yeah, massage. he did a full oh. ball. Wow. He turned. So he, kind of. uh, who's up, though? I mean, who's, uh, Attila. Attila's up four to two. Playing okay. No. Oh. Well, he's made a couple made a couple mistakes. Yeah, for sure. That's what I was saying. I said earlier, it's kind of like playing in a fishbowl this table because everybody's sitting around watching you. It's the first thing you see when you walk in the door. You're on the cameras. I would say draw out. I don't know. I mean, where's he going to go if he draws out? I'm a forward player personally. He's kind of coming across any angle. It's nine. I would just put a lot of juice on it. Looks like he's going to the bottom. Yeah, it's ideal. See, if he can go to that. Yeah. I don't know if it goes by, but I mean, you're kind of crossing every single angle of any open pocket that you wanted. I don't like it. And play safe at the same time, it looks like. It's 
just going to try and roll that cue ball right up there. I, like hey, I think you have to focus on one or the other. I think you've got to focus on one or the other. If he was just trying to pocket the four ball, but because he's got to cut it into the nine, I think he does have enough angle to get it over there. Mm -hmm. He got there. Look at that. Wow. That's what I said. You have to focus on one or the other, and I think he focused there more on the safety. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it looks, uh, yeah, that's exactly right. But Foch kick's so freaking good. But he's stuck on that five. He's, he can't, he took that rail away from him. Yeah. So he's got to come under the six, and he's got to beat the eight. This is a tough hit. Yeah, but if I was going to bet on anybody to hit it, it would be Foch. Yeah, he's got a, a great cue ball. You know what? I might I might hit to the middle of the table here and draw back to try to hit the two rails. <laughs> Cause I don't see I don't see a. It's hard. It I don't hard see a two rail. You're looking at a, hitting no, an eighth rails. of a ball. Well, I know, but you got to beat the eight, and I don't think you can. I don't think he, I think he's gonna hit to the middle of the table and draw back towards the nine or the towards the bottom rail. He wouldn't be able to maybe hit into and here. No, see that's not there. The eight ball. Oh, there. that's right. Dave, you're very aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> it funny. means something when you say it. It doesn't mean any. Well, it, it means something. Let me tell you something. It means something completely different when I say it. Lila's, Lila just texted me and said he can barely hear Dave, but Dave's not really on the microphone, Lila. It's just me. He's just standing over my shoulder, Dave's whispering. I'm looking, at, I'm looking down her shirt. I'm just, just <laughs> whispering bad things in my ears. He's the commentator whisperer. The commentator whisperer. <laughs> I got him on one side and Jim Bird on the other. It's a white bread sandwich is what it is. <laughs> it's like a reverse Oreo. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what that was. You gotta, you gotta go long rail. You can give the cue ball time to react with a long rail kick. Right? Say it again for the for the crowd. Well, you can you you can hit the long rail and you can give it time to react with the draw. Where him, he hit the short rail and he tried to make the spin work, but it was just it yeah. it doesn't react quick enough. You see what I mean? That's why you gotta go long Five rail. Five to two. It. But I mean, he was in a tight spot. Race that was eight. a hard hit, no matter what. That was a super aggressive song. Yes. The score is five to two, Attila. Green shirt playing purple shirt. <laughs> it's like two Skittles. <laughs> yeah, we're not live streaming or nothing. We're not live streaming at we're all. We're not live streaming or nothing. Everybody just jump across the camera. <laughs> It's fine. Daniel has no idea that we're... <laughs> Daniel has no idea... He has an idea now. <laughs> that we're making a mockery of his, his, his streaming. No. All right. The score is 5-2. to two. Fosh really needs to put, put uh, the pedal to the metal, get in gear, get out here, put a little bit of pressure back on the other guy, let him know he hasn't fallen apart, right? I've seen him What's make that? these comebacks oh, before. Oh, so are they... Uh... I said Fosh really needs to make a statement and uh, run this out and show the other guy that he hasn't folded yet. He yeah, I, no, Fosh is playing hard, but w w what you're looking at here is this a tough table again. Again, Fosh is really looking at something that he's going to have to create some... See, he tried to hit the nine ball there. He's got to break that five ball out in order to get out, and it's just not um, ideal for him. So this is where he's got to get creative. He's got to figure out exactly what he wants to do, but he's shooting really fast. And so he, I, can that? I think, it, I think the five ball goes. Yeah, the five ball goes. Uh, well, angle, not from there. <clears throat> oh yeah, look at it on the camera. All day. Hold up, wait a minute. Yeah, you're right. He's playing at a speed that's a little bit faster than his normal pace. It looks like he's getting a little... Uh, he's playing Rodney speed right now. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. He made them both. He's, he's not made one to be reckoned with. Wow. 
See, now that's five the Foch three. that we know and love. I think Foch very, is... Very good shot, Foch. Foch is like, okay, I'm ready to play now. now. Do you think Do you think he thought he was going to make the nine there, or do you think he was just focused oh, on the six ball? Absolutely. He shot to make both balls. Yeah. Yeah. There was not a doubt in my mind there. He hit it beautifully. It was set up perfectly, right? Almost like he played position for it, but he didn't. Oh, no, he didn't play. No, he played no position for it. No. We, we were just giving Foch a little thumbs up of there, a little love. We're rooting for him. He's, he's one of our hometown heroes over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's our, he's our hard time boy. Our <laughs> HTB boys. Sitting there with uh, Mr. What do they call him? Mr. 400, John 500, Schmidt, 700, 8,000? Yeah, 4,500. <laughs> John Schmidt in the house. That would make me Mr. Six. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't want to know why. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate right here. I mean, look at this. The guy breaks. He's got this two ball straight in. And a fairly routine 3-9 combo if he can get back up there. Yeah, he's got a little angle, I think. Um, it, yeah, he can come off the back rail. And uh, he, so that's what it looks like he's trying to do. Because the 4-5 are tied up. So, you know, but he, if he does... Oh. oh. Wow. And got a really good roll. Yeah, that's going to work. And now Bosch is looking at the dilemma of what's he going to do? Getting that three ball... The 3-9 is still there. So he's going to try to stick this cue ball underneath the deuce. So he's got to hit before the side pocket, and he's got to turn the wrap out of this ball. There it is. But, oh, wow, he hit it nice. Get down, get down, get down all the way to the end. Oh. Could have hit it any better. Very, very, very nice. He could have. He could have laid it on that bottom rail. Yeah, that's true, but, you know, we'll be... But okay, now, but what's this one? What's he going to do? He's going to play safe, but it's a tough safety. That's what I said. It's a tough safety. Really doesn't have much to hide behind. Okay, so where are you going here? I mean, are you going to play underneath the three ball and just play play the out, right? You're not going to try to get shape on the three nine combination. I always try to get shape on a three nine combination. Oh, he's going to play underneath. <laughs> Perfect. Good shot. Or he's going to uh, hit Don't the nine. Don't freeze him. That. See, no, that's not. No, he went. He had a great line. He went a little fast. He's, he's a little not, hard. He's not too over it, though. If you look at it from this angle. All he's got, you know, I mean, he's got to concentrate on trying to make this ball. That's all there is to it. Absolutely, because the four-five combo is not too tough. Yeah, exactly. So he's just going to concentrate on trying to make this ball. Uh, the cue ball should be okay, and he oh. he played the nine. Oh, he did. Sorry. I mean, it was a hard shot. It was. I mean. But he kind of left his man in the middle of nowhere. Where is he, where is he going to go here? Right, he took care of his man. Yeah, yeah. so I mean, uh, what do you do on this shot? And he's shooting it real quick, like it's like a hanger or something. Is it a slice? Oh, he's, he's playing, playing the nine. nine. Oh, he's going to scratch. OK, guys, I'm going to turn this over to Geraldine or Dave. Dave, you want to sit down? You guys want? Dave, would you like this seat? Oh, I'm, I'm okay. Thank you, though. Thank you. Say it again. I'm okay. Thank you so much. Now sing us a country song. Yodely. No, just kidding. <laughs> oh, sneak behind the six. Sneak behind the six. Yeah, baby. Oh, I get my own microphone. It's I like this. It's funny because he snuck the... I like he, this. He tried to sneak the three into the pack, right? But it bounced out. Uh, kind of got um, in front of the pack, but he, he got the six ball hook. He got the hook with the six ball, so that's nice. I think he was playing that cue ball to the back rail, so yeah, it was a nice shot. But look at this. I mean, uh, I like the... Jump the, three ball combo? Yeah, I kind of like the idea of it, um, but I think he's got to be playing half the three. I mean, he's got to try to get away here with the cue ball or the three. See, he oh, went aggressively oh, oh. towards the shot, and that's going to make him lose. He had to try to hit a portion of that three, not the full three. Right. You can't get away that way, you know? I think in that kind of instance, you're just looking for a little love. Maybe a double kiss, something like that, that puts one of the balls in the hole. Well, so now all, all 
um, Foch has to do here is just try to stay in position. So he always wants an angle going towards his next ball. So he's doing great right now. The only thing that I've noticed that Foch is doing is, is he's hitting things a little bit short sometimes. So what he wants to do yeah. is just make sure that he doesn't hit anything too short. Uh, he looks like, yeah, Which but that was nice there. That was a nice shot. He's got to let um, the stroke out a little bit. Yeah, hold him back a little bit, right? Oh, no. Okay. Going to take okay. it in the corner instead of the side. I think that's what I'm saying. I think he wants to let the stroke out a little bit instead of trying to hold the ball. Maybe just play a slightly different position where you can let that stroke out. He can make this in the corner and avoid the scratch. Yeah, see, you know... 100% he can. Yeah, you, the the issue here isn't the seven. It's the issue is getting a getting a shot on the eight ball. So he's got to miss the nine with the cue ball. And he hit the nine, and that's what's going to trouble him with the. Oh, okay. It's not going to trouble him at all. Oh Look at no, this it's perfect. <laughs> so you draw it out two rails, and uh, he's got action on the nine. And we got a 5 4. Yeah. He is moving really fast, you know. I know he's not steady he hit right that now. a little bit thick, right? I yeah. thought for half a second maybe there that he might have missed it. He shot the shot and he was instantly up. <laughs> so that's telling. He's just a little edgy, but that's okay. It's a, it's a tough match and he's on the TV screen, his TV table. and It's okay though. It's 5 4 now. And. Uh, that I means mean, he's uh, right back Fox in it, right? Is breaking, yeah. And now they're right back on uh, on course, really. We just need a little break and run here. Well, that would be ideal. Um, or bacon, breaking one nine combo or something, right? Not like we're pulling for anybody or anything. No, right? not like we're pulling for anybody. <laughs> like I said, Foch is a hometown hero. I can't help yeah, it. I love no. him. Nothing against his opponent. His opponent's a very nice young man. And, and a great player. And a very good player, yep. Yeah, I mean, uh, you made a ball, but uh, where's this cue ball going? Wait. Oh, Ooh. there it is. Hey, this cue ball looks and pretty good. And I think good. he landed straight in, so he can just roll up for the deuce and down in the corner. Oh, God, he's shooting so fast. See, and he missed that ball right there. I mean, all yeah. he didn't miss that ball because he missed it. He missed it because he was trying to do something fancy with the cue ball right there. Yeah, I mean, he didn't even take his time on that. I mean, he is really uncomfortable right now, and... Uh, and um, you know. Maybe you're talking too loud. No, I'm am. just kidding. <laughs> well, I, I, it could be. I mean, but, um, you know, I'm hoping not. He just wants to, you know, like when we get on that table, we want to perform. We want to shoot well, you know, and we're not used to it. You know, maybe, the, maybe every, you know, a lot of other people are more used to it so they can perform a little better, but, you know. So, he's... But I'm thankful that they haven't thrown me up here. on that table yet. Well, you need to get up there. You no, shoot so you, nice. You need to. No, you shoot a very nice game of pool. You're, you know, and. Uh, no, because when I do go up, they're going to put me up against some champion. Well, that's what they just going to free do. roll on me. Yeah, but that's what they have to do. Nah. And they cannot free wheel on this table. All right, so let's see where he's going to do. So he's going to He's going to go back and forth with the one. See, um, that was a uh, very vague. Vague? Is that what yeah, you're trying to say? Yeah, to me that was like uh, just trying to, I don't know what that was, but I don't know what he was trying to do there. Or maybe he was trying to hit the one thin, more thin than that. Yeah, that's probably what it was. It'll be but interesting to see what Fosh does here. He left them tough still. I mean, I think you just play the one to the bottom rail here. Yeah. Just I mean, like that. Nah, you... Okay, so now it's a tick, ticky kind of thing here. What are we going to do? You can back what am slice I gonna the do? one. I'm going to back slice the one and try and get and the cue ball down. Try to hit the five ball. Yeah, try and get and the cue ball down the, by, yeah. behind the four the three. three. I like that. Running underneath the three, it sets really nice there. But you're you, on this kind of shot here. You're playing more the one, the cue ball than the one ball. Absolutely. You're, yeah, this is more of a cue ball play. You know, so you're you're when you shoot this, you're shooting speed for the cue ball to land underneath three. And he, he hit, hit it. it fat. Oh, I thought he was going to run uh, into it. He hit it well, just a little hard, but but good. You got distance. Still, I mean, you know, 
Now, Foch can maybe do the same thing here. I don't think so. I'm looking at it, I and mean, I don't I mean think he can get past the, the four. He can, can get, he hit the oh, one yeah. to the two? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I was going to say, he can't play it on the other side of the one. No, oh, he's going to play the one towards the three. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Good idea. Excellent shot. If he left him open, though, he has a combo, and it's not too difficult to come. I mean, it's, there's I distance there, but it's not edge? too different. No, I don't think he left him an edge. Okay. But I think he might be playing the carom uh, off the rail into the three with the cue ball, maybe. Well, he gets a ride to nine oh, then, too. okay. Oh, oh. Oh, boy, he hit that wow. shot. Very nice. And, and I, you know, folks, I think he really shot that shot that way. He was playing that cue ball over there, and he's playing the one ball up table. He hit it very nice. I didn't even see that. Yeah, that was I'm a very nice shot. And, and Foch is going to do the same thing here, I think. But what he's got to be careful, he's got to hit this soft, and he's looking to hit it hard. I don't get it. Um, oh, he's got a Mass A. He doesn't have a full rail over there. Okay, so he is hitting it soft, yeah. That's what you got to do. You just got to you just place, you know, get in an area where he doesn't have a full shot, or he's got a bank, or he's got to do something. And I guarantee he's banking this ball. I like it. Yeah. Mm, bank. Put the actually draw the cue ball back. You have the over. right angle. Get the cue ball down there between the two yeah, and the he's five. Drawn. It's a perfect setup for a bank. Yeah. And so now it's just two, three, four, five, well, six, depending nine. Depending on how straight he got on the deuce, it looks like he has a pretty good angle to bounce off towards the three, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So the angle on the three is pretty important. You don't want to be dead straight in on the three. Okay, let's look at this. So oh, he got a nice oh. angle. He's got a nice angle. A little more angle than he probably thought he was going to get. He's all but right, though. He just comes back across the table. Yeah, if back he... Back out to the middle of the know, table, like, across and back out to the middle, and he can shoot the four in the so side. So you think he's going to hit it with low, right? Uh, actually, you think he could just go, like, center ball right here with saying. a little bit of right. Maybe just a little safe shot, center, yeah. center high, and beat just the six. Just, yeah, just come across, beat the six, the four the play the four in the side. Yeah, I kind of like that. Oh, he's going high. You don't have to elevate your cue. I don't know why he went oh, high. Oh, no. Well, okay. All right. Well, he's safe there. He's got a little... I don't love that. But yeah, but you look, how it, an, look no. how it opened up between the 8 and the 9. He can cue up there easily. You I know, know, but he, he had an opportunity there to, to mess himself up a little bit. He yeah, could have easily hooked himself. Tentative. Yes, you're right. But, um, yeah, he got a little fortunate to have this free, uh, free look at the 4. And now I'm... Um, you know, looking like he can get on that 6-9 pretty easily. Uh, he's lucky, actually. If the 6-ball had moved over just a hair, he wouldn't even be able to play the 6-9. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, he hit it. Well, look here. Well, he's all right. Yeah. I'm just saying, if you, if you can avoid running into balls when you, if you don't have to, then, then do that. You hit that really, you know. He got a little bit fortunate there, I, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, he could have been jacked up. He could have been hooked. Yeah. Well, so now he, he sets up to a 6-4 six, six, lead. 6-4 lead. No, they both go to 8. Go to 8. Right? He's, or is he going to 9? I have no idea. Is it 8-9 eight, eight, <laughs> or is it 8-8? Eight, eight? You don't know either? I think um, they both go to I 8. I think they both go to 8. Take a nap here on Jim Burt's shoulder. Got a hard shoulder. Yeah, Jim, you're awfully aggressive. I, am. <laughs> I don't know what this is all about. This little <laughs> game between you two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're finding the same spot. Everybody keeps. Oh, oh, he did not want that deuce to drop. He d All right. well, okay, would you just not say that? Please don't ever say deuce to drop again. Oh, you don't like drop? Deuce drop? Oh, I'm so sorry. He did not want to see that deuce drop. <laughs> see, that's where Melissa's mind goes on deuces. So everybody, don't take a deuce. All right, so here we are. 
Oh, I don't like this. Oh, you know, feeling comfortable with that jump cue can get you in trouble at times. And uh, I don't know. Um, he might have got... Oh, he, he got... Well, I mean... Has he got a half pocket? No, I don't even think he's got a half a pocket. I think he would be forced to play a combo here. But, uh, you know, he missed a couple of jump shots earlier at that close with the, you know, with the tight... Yeah, he's uh, very comfortable with it. So, okay, it looks like Foch is going to go for it here. Oh, duh. Well, where are we at? Okay, he needs a little love, and um, he looks like he's got a little bit of love. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a shot there. But he'll play the, the bank and the three to the long rail, or the back rail over there, and cue ball underneath the five four, I think. Oh, he's playing the three to the back four. Okay, well, that's a little. Not bad, not bad, very good. One way or another there. No, six four. No, 6 4. Uh, so Foch is going to hit this one rail. He's, oh my He's God. He's going to make it. it. Oh, oh my God. But he got, well, no, he didn't get fortunate. That's a shot. He came so close, though. He was trying to make it. Foch well, is more he, than capable of kicking those balls in. He's five in front of the seven. So The seven in front of the five. The seven in front of the five, yes. I got a little dyslexic. Sorry. Right. Uh, that's okay. It's okay. Anyway, uh, yeah. So that so he'll shoot the three. But Attila has a chance if he gets if he gets on the right side of the four ball here. It's actually he can actually play the five ball in the opposite corner. Right. All the right. way past the pocket down the table. But he's shot. I mean, okay. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Got a great line to See? go to the five. Unless he got straight, but the it six ball look doesn't like go past the seven though either. So he's right. still, he still I mean, has some so work to do. Seven ball becomes a little bit of a a hindrance. You can maybe, well, no. No, you don't want to get oh. too crazy right now. You oh, don't want to get too crazy. That. Well, you know what? That really works for him right there. So now he can draw underneath the six. I mean, he got perfect on it. Yeah, you can draw to there oh. if he feels oh, like if you. he feels comfortable. Oh shit! Somebody died. I did. Look at that. Drew it all the way back. Used the seven to change the direction of the of the cue ball and got perfect. Uh, that, that took some concentration when you, when you have this. But these are the little shots right here, okay? He's gonna, he doesn't want to use draw on this. He's got to come follow out. He wants an angle on the eight, so he hits it a little light. It actually got really nice. That's very good. Now does he just kind of elevate the cue a little bit and just stun it down the table, yeah. or do you follow it and play the short side of the nine? I, I don't think you go short side here. I think you go, uh, you draw it out. I think if he can elevate just a little bit and be comfortable over there, that's what he'll do. Just but kind if, of punch uh, it down table. But sometimes, uh, you know, obstacles in the way. Yeah. See, right now, it, I don't think he's going to do it. He's going to, he's going to follow because of the table. Yeah. You guys might not be able to see it. Oh, Daniel's showing. Yeah. His, 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 when he tries to elevate there, he's. The butt end of his cue is hitting uh, a fixture in the room. Okay. So now he's elevating oh, even more. Okay, so he's even elevating more. I don't like that choice. I mean, he had a perfect chance to go over there and follow. Eight. Eight. He gets a little too much draw then, and then he loses the angle. It actually comes kind of straight down the table. Yeah. He can still make it. <laughs> well, a little aggressive, Jim. Of course he is, but it's no hanger. But you notice that how he did that. He, he drew that ball. Um, and a lot of times when you hit a shot like that, you do, you want to draw out. They call that drawing out on a shot. So it's actually um, pretty common for a pro if that's the last shot. They'll draw out on a ball like that and draw two rails out and uh, make sure that they make a clean hit on the nine ball. Well, I'm a, I'm a female. We don't uh, use draw like that. We just roll balls in, so that's what I do. I want to show the presence of my authority on the table. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just roll the ball. in. Are you going to roll that ball in? Yeah, no. No. But I'm just saying, I'm just making a joke right now. <laughs> oh, okay. You're not. Watch the cue ball. Watch the cue ball. Watch the cue ball. Oh, that is trouble in paradise. He's having some horrible luck here. 
Yeah, he's 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 not playing the way he usually plays, and also, yeah, that's kind of the table does that. It kind of dictates the person that's comfortable, gives you a little more. There's a you little know. bit of an issue here with the uh, eight is tucked up behind the nine. Uh, seven. Uh, but he's got plenty of opportunities to break that out right now. He can well. break it out right here. He can break it out with the three ball. He's got a lot of opportunities. You see the eight's tucked up behind the nine right, a little bit. Right, right. Well, I'm, I think he's doing it right now. I mean, uh, there's no better chance. He's got to be careful not to get stuck behind that nine, to like hit well, the three ball kind of full and right. get stuck behind the nine, right. things like that. But the yeah, and the six balls right there. Uh, I would go two rail. I mean, I go one rail and spinning it towards the three. Yeah, my right? roving commentator Jim Burt tells me that the three ball might not actually pass by the eight ball. You're going to see a lot of spin on this cue ball, and what he's going to do is he's going to spin so he doesn't get hooked underneath the three. He's going to spin it into the three, and hopefully the three hits the eight and bumps out. We're going to go out to the. Uh, there it is. Get a spin. All right, perfect. And instead, he just replaced the, the eight ball with the three oh ball. Now it's tucked up behind it. Yeah, it is. Yep. I don't think he has a clear shot at it. But you know what? He has a straight shot on the deuce. He can draw back into it. Maybe. Oh, I, you know, oh yeah. Shoot. How come I'm so... Uh, you, the two ball. No deuces. Deuce is wild. I don't know. I don't know why I do that. Uh, see, he did not do that. Uh, no, he was trying to bump that. He was trying Yeah, it's... There's a whole discussion going on behind me. This is a very controversial shot. I do not think that he actually can make this three ball. Oh, here comes Ernesto. See, I, they're not going to get me out there. I'm not going to fall into that trap. I, I really, I don't, I don't enjoy. Yeah, it I can think be he, made, I think the, he can turn it. Here? I think it's going to be fine. Yeah. And uh, Ernesto just uh, says, uh, I don't know. Anything. He didn't say anything. <laughs> it's interesting. The guy I think he's still questioning. Was that a good hit? I think so, because the guy <laughs> just turned around to shoot it. I don't think Ernesto had a chance to digest it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, that was a love bump. He's getting a lot of love right love now. Love bump. All right, so where are we at here? Mm -hmm. Trying to... Oh, he's got a little angle, so he might have to pop it on the other side of the seven. It's interesting, right? Because yeah. the cue ball is kind of coming straight at the seven ball. It's not, I don't really... So this is I tough. think somebody's got to watch this shot, too, because you don't want to double hit this shot. I'm not going to double hit it. It's going to jack up and kind of do that little flick follow. A, a little flick follow? Yeah. Really? A gonna, follow flicker? Yeah. A follow flicker shot? Watch. See? No. He's going to follow. No, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. Very nice. Very nice. He got a lot out of that shot, you know. It looked like it didn't have yeah, that he much. had to jack up to get it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He did your follow flick thing. Yeah. I understand. Just kind of flicked at it. And uh, if he makes this ball, it's uh, pretty much adios, amigos. Yep. Uh, it's pretty ideal from here. No miscues. You're fine. There it is. And Foch gives him the game. And you know what? That's a tough match no matter what, you know. I think so. I feel you know Vach definitely made some mistakes, but uh, the table didn't open up as nicely for him as it did for Attila at times. You know, off the break, things like that. He had he, sometimes he had to do a lot of work just to run out, break out things, get find funny uh, tight position to get shape. It's, it's hard like that. Yeah. Now we got a couple of locals coming on here. Oh, uh, Johnny Kang and who? Chris Fangry. Our young little uh, superstar. Aww. And he's kind of adorbs. Uh, he is. He's he's you know, he's a good kid. He'd probably kill me for saying that. No, no, he he loves it. You kidding me? Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed this match on your flight to the top first place <laughs> here at the Mez West State Tour Stop number four. We're going to have uh, Johnny Kang versus Chris Fangray coming up right now. 
check it out on POV Pool. Thanks a lot.